Guten Morgen, kia ora, and welcome to another 3 minute Thursday. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to do a before after comparison in Affinity Photo. I'm going to show you three ways how you can compare your edit before and after in Affinity Photo. First, we're going to go over the very simple compare feature where you have the slider and you can do side by side. Second, we're going to talk about the sync feature. And third, we're going to go back to the photo persona and we're going to explore ways how to also do a before and after even though you don't have the comparison feature in the photo persona. So let's get started. So I've just opened up a raw photo in the latest version of Affinity Photo. When you double click a raw photo on your computer, Affinity Photo automatically opens it in the develop persona. We're just gonna make some changes here. Maybe bring the exposure up a little bit, increase our black point, bring the brightness down a little bit, maybe increase the contrast, do some clarity. And I'm just gonna go extra crazy here on saturation and vibrance, just so that it's easier for you guys to see. I'm also gonna change the temperature to something really wild. So obviously, we have a pretty crazy edit here which is probably not something I would normally do but hey for the sake of this tutorial this is really gonna help us in order to compare your edits to before and after the first thing you want to do is just go up here and click the split view and you get this nice little slider that you can move around so this is what we got out of the Panasonic GH5 in raw format and this is where we're at right now the other cool thing is also you don't have to use this slider you can also just pan the image to your liking and also have the comparison this way and additionally all the other features like zooming in and out still works so if you're working on a YouTube thumbnail then you can still have your comparison this way so I'm just zooming back out here to my full screen by pressing command zero the other way you can compare is to click the mirror button up here where you get a full screen image side by side so in this case also super handy to be able to zoom out a little bit and do the comparison this way and then what What's great is you can keep editing so you can maybe increase the shadows bring down the highlights and you can really ruin a picture this way but you can see as you edit your photo you can keep comparing it to your original and this obviously works in either view now the next thing I want to talk about is these buttons up here which lets you sync your changes to your before so if I press this button and really look at the arrows that makes it the easiest so this one says sync before so what we want to do is we want to push everything that we have on the left over to the right so now as you can see there is no more change and why would I want to do this I would do this if I am sure I'm really happy with these changes but now I want to do some additional stuff that I'm not too sure about and I would like to compare so in this particular case I'm just gonna go over to tones and I'm just gonna bring up my curves here and I'm just gonna go crazy in order to demonstrate this example and now I'm really Really, really ruining this picture here but you can see that now I'm not comparing to my very original raw anymore but now I'm comparing to my changes I had done in the beginning and if I'm really not happy with this I can also click this button up here that syncs it back so then I don't have to go and find all my changes and um, manually undo them so that's really really cool and then the other thing you might want to know about is that you can swap this and then everything is reversed okay so now this is your before and now this is your after so and then you can use the buttons just like you did before I'm gonna undo that because I don't want a black and white picture and once you're done click develop and get your photo okay we're happy with our image or not and we click develop and we're back in the photo persona and we immediately notice that we don't have our split view comparison buttons anymore. I did a little bit of research and it looks like the Affinity team is aware that this is a highly desired feature, but it's not in development yet and I couldn't find anything specific as to when it's gonna come in the next version. So I'm gonna show you two different ways of how you can get a similar before and after comparison in the photo persona. Okay, so we've developed our photo and we are back here in the photo persona. And as mentioned, we don't have our comparison and split view buttons up here. One easy and very safe way of doing this and probably for working in general is to simply duplicate your layer. Now I'm gonna go crazy and make all these trees blurry here for whatever reason. Don't like trees. I'm in New York City. I just want to see buildings. I shouldn't say that. Trees are awesome. I love trees. There you go. So if I wanted to see um, how this looks like to before and after, I can always just turn this layer off and there is my comparison. 
Obviously you don't have the slider, but at least you have the ability to turn your changes on and off and compare it to your original, or in this case, edited original. So the other way of getting a comparison in the photo persona is to go up to your filters. And for any of these filters, I'm just gonna choose the zoom blur here. You can see that you get your buttons that you know from the develop persona. So you can just click these as you adjust the settings of your filter. So you can exactly figure out how much of the filter you wanna apply and what's the effect you're going for. You can do the side-by-side -side comparison. You can move it around just like in the photo persona. And once you've applied your changes, it gets applied. And if you remember the trick that we just talked about, you can still turn this on and off by having this on a different layer. And that's it. Three or actually four very simple ways of doing a before and after comparison in Affinity Photo. Guys, I hope you liked this. I hope this was helpful. I hope this makes your life better. If it does, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you would like to hear about next. Give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're into this kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo. Cool.